I'm, I'm saying their, their pushiness seems to be blowing up in their face. And as soon as we reconnect, we'll talk to them. I, I, I've been intending to go to phone calls. This is kind of fun, though. It's like we're talking to Mars Base or something. Hello, this is Houston. Mars Base over. General Stubblebine. Major General Stubblebine. And Dr. Labo. Orbiting the planet at maximum velocity. <laughs> we know the Panama uh, communication system and its weaknesses very well. But this is exceptional. We're right on target, Alex, and they don't want this out. And I say, well, thank you for the confirmation. And that just tells us all how very important what we're saying is. Yeah, we, well, we interview people down in Panama and even Paraguay and other places, and it never does this. This is, uh, this is crazy, but... Uh, I know the Jesse Ventura thing was suspicious. Somebody was disconnecting that line. Uh, Jesse said when he moved out of the governor's house that the, the, the phone company said it was all tapped. And he got visited by the CIA, too. Final segment. We'll jam a few final calls in with our guest. I meant to get to more, but we've had some technical problems. Jay, Jeremiah, Paul, Brandon, Holly. We're going to jam you in here. Quick questions or comments. We'll at least get to a couple of you on the other side. I'm Alex Jones. Our websites are InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. The rebroadcast is going to be a doozy. For thousands of years, Native American healing has been practiced in North America. The Native Americans discovered an astonishing healing plant called Siaga. This pesticide-free, wild-crafted, all-natural wonder is handpicked by a medicine man and effectively combined with other all-natural and sacred ingredients into a product called Defense. These key ingredients not only supply powerful immune system building blocks defending your body against natural and man-made viruses, but they also assist your body in healing itself from life-threatening conditions. HealForGood.com's defense capsules are Native American practitioners' remedy. Start now with a 100% money-back guarantee. Mention this ad and receive $5 off your first three-month supply of defense capsules. Call 1-877-HEAL-4-GOOD. 1-877-HEAL. The number 4, good. That's 877-432-5446. Or order online at HealForGood.com. That's HealForGood.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress. And they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation. The criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the checkout to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the republic get your copy of fall of the republic on dvd at infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at prisonplanet.tv remain in your houses the president of the united states has declared martial law under executive order 11004 will they do it will they pull the trigger this time we all pray they stand down, but an engineered crisis seems more likely with each passing day. Think it can't happen here? Executive Order 10990 locks down all highways. Executive Order 10995 seizes control of all media outlets. Executive Order 10998 controls all farms and food supplies. All these executive orders are now cocked, loaded, and waiting for the right crisis. So if you're worried about the possibility of martial law here in America or have questions about how to survive it, go to MartialLawSurvival.com. That's MartialLawSurvival.com. Go to MartialLawSurvival.com right now. You must remain in your houses until your bracelets are scanned. You know, it's been two days I've meant to break down and go over what I thought happened at Fort Hood. You heard Jesse Ventura. He thinks it's a mind control operation. It looks like a provocateur operation at the bare minimum, and, and there's so much evidence. Just when you've studied this, you know what you're looking at. Very, very suspicious. Side issue, General Stubblebine. I know more is coming out. You may not want to comment now, but the FBI, the CIA, watching him. him uh, he was a psychiatrist. Uh, the, people reported two other shooters. They said he was dead for six hours. 
Now he's now he's cognizant, out of the coma. Uh, it just fits all the past operations. You've got them launching a new war, expanding the war. Uh, you've got all these other patsies they've just busted that we know were patsies. Does this stink to you, or do you just think this is some some crazy running around shooting people at Fort Hood? No, I don't think it's a crazy, uh, not at all. I think uh, um, something has triggered him, and who knows? Did the trigger come from Harp? Did the trigger come from um, uh, one of the uh, 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 things that uh, have penetrated his, his uh, skin? I don't know. It's very suspicious, though. For somebody to suddenly go on a rampage just because he didn't like war. He went on a war. That's what he did. He says he didn't like it's, war. It's also entirely possible. We have to remember that as a psychiatrist, he had virtual unlimited access to any kind of uh, prescription drug that he wanted. And psychiatric education increases homosexuality and suicide. So, what we're looking at, forget about the model that may be part of it, but what we're looking at just as easily be, pure and simply, the neurotoxicity of these these agents that cause the, the capacity for judgment to be suspended and cause aggression to be acted out against the sufferer against others at phenomenal rates. So, we don't know how much of which Psychiatric mix was a, which brew was in his bloodstream, and until we know that, we cannot eliminate that possibility. Well, that's what I was going to say. One of the big issues is minutes after it happened, Joe Rogan was actually here in the office, and I said, "Joe, if he turns out to be an Arab or in mental health, you know it's staged." And then he was an Arab and in mental health. He fits the classic Manchurian candidate. We know they hunt for these guys in research programs at universities. That's when they got Theodore Kaczynski, the Unabomber, L.A. Times, MK Ultra, Alexander Cockburn. I mean, it's admitted that McVeigh was under mind control. It's admitted the Unabomber was mind control. This is mainstream news. So we have to look at this guy when he fits all the earmarks and ask what was going on and why does this serve purposes. He certainly could be a Muslim extremist. They do exist, but this thing stinks to high heaven. We don't have time for calls because of the audio problem. The next time we can get a good line, the next few weeks, we will have them back on as soon as we get a clean line uh, down to Central America. But the website is healthfreedomusa.org. I want to have you back up soon about the attack on vitamins, the attack on organic foods. And I want to thank Albert N. Stubblebine III and Dr. Rima E. Labo, MD. I want to thank both of you for the super job you're doing. And I want to encourage everybody to go to healthfreedomusa.org or to go to that email uh, and to and to get involved as plaintiffs in this suit to block forced inoculation of little kids in New Jersey. This is such important work you're doing, and I salute both of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. And don't forget mass. We need mass. Absolutely. You need plaintiffs uh, right now. Give us that email address one more time, Dr. Laybub. Ralph, R-A-L-P-H dot. Fusatola, F-U-C-E-T-O-L-A, at USA.net. Okay, we thank you. We're out of time. God bless you. I'll say bye to you off air. Jesse Ventura, Judge Napolitano, they're coming up right now. Infowars.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Have you ever wanted to generate your own supply of electrical power? If so, this is going to be the most important message you will ever hear. Solar power generators are now available from Solutions from Science in Thompson, Illinois. These emergency backup systems provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no fumes, and produces electricity for free. It's like having an electric power plant running quietly in your own home. Run sump pumps, shortwave radios, computers, and even keep food from spoiling. Spoiling. Whether it's hurricanes, ice storms, brownouts, or blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. When the power goes out, you'll be ready. 
with a solar power generator from Solutions from Science. Go to mysolarbackup.com and get off the grid today. That's mysolarbackup.com or call 877-327-0365. 877-327-0365. Don't wait. Call today. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network.